Hello, everybody. Okay, gonna catch you up to speed on a little bit of a Furby addiction I've managed to acquire over the past couple of months. Okay, let's do a little bit of a rundown. So originally, we basically tore down a Furby and found out that there's a some kind of dev port on the side of its head. And I went down the rabbit hole on that really deep. Wound up finding some data, quite a bit of data sheets, even some demo source code. Uh, there was a whole uh, hacker convention talk about you know reverse engineering the Furby. Uh, okay, so really went nuts on that. Ah, uh, then you know we've got our original white one and the original black one, which turns out that their ear types will tell you whether or not they'll have the dev port in the side of their head, which I have right here. I managed to get a hold of a Furby crystal recently, as well as uh, two others, this guy here, and where's the other one? Um, oh, it's powered up, I guess. So these three are powered. So here's the thing. I recently bought three Furbies, but for whatever reason, they don't move. So I went to the dissected Furby, the one that we like utterly tore apart, and I tried to understand how the gearing mechanism works, and it's basically a, a single loop system, a closed loop system, and there's a rotary enc encoder right here. Um, if I had the screws off or a you know, disembodied third hand, I can take this apart and show you, but there's uh, an optical encoder with a rotary wheel so it can keep track of its animation paces. So it, that really kind of explains how it can dance back and forth or wiggle its ears. It's just moving the motor forward and backwards while indexing where it is in the animation cycle. And um, not exactly sure what this is just yet. Um, I think it might be for some kind of speed setting, but regardless, I took the original motor out of a Furb, and if I can get the worm gear off with a little bit of force, well, let me show you what's wrong with these guys. All right, wake up. Come on, dumbass. See, that's, that's the thing. We should be seeing animations. But nope, his internal motor is either dead or, you know, just, you know, needs some, uh, some lube. Gotta get some, uh, lithium lubricant. Now, this is the Crystal Furby. I find this just absolutely fascinating. On an engineering level, I think it's just gorgeous. Uh, they weren't really popular here in the United States. They're, it seems like these, uh, the, the Furby Crystal series was more popular in the UK, and unfortunately, this guy is suffering the exact same problem. Now, I don't know if these will have the dev port in the side of the head, and I don't know if I want to do the experimental surgery, because these guys are just... I got to admit, I really do enjoy the engineering level on it. It's just the detail's insane. But it is possible to open up the verb. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get to another point. So there's two types of furbs, right? A furb that has a dev port and a furb that does not have a dev port. Look at those anime eyes on, on the default personality and look at the regular round eyes on this personality. Oh, okay, calm, calm down. So I found out that the default personality on the non-dev port Furbies, the one that have the plushy feet and the solid ears that don't have the dev port in the side of the head, well, when it has a default personality, it'll have just basic round dot eyes. But the ones that do have the dev port will have these more anime eyes. You done? <laughs> God, these pains in the ass. So, I am hoping that in some time, shortly soon, we can get some experimental surgery in these guys to see if we can get some uh, some new lithium grease in there to get them alive and see if we can get a new motor in this crystal Furby. And, oh shit, I forgot to mention, I just ordered a Furby Connect. <laughs> 